I'll be showing how to clean the sensor of Canon EOS 80D, uh, which has a crop sensor factor of 1.6x, so I'll be using 16 millimeter swap size from Visible Dust. I'll be using their Ultra MXD100, which is a green handle swap, uh, which is compatible with this uh, water cleaning uh, liquid, and their curved swab handle, which is a cavity you insert the uh, swab inside, and uh, basically it gives a sort of uh, uh, permanent uh, perpendicular uh, uh, positions uh, on the sensor so when you cross roll over from one edge to the opposite edge you avoid those uh, vertical transition line which is usually seen with the uh, uh, flexible swap handle so there uh, a smear away, which is a water-based uh, cleaning solution uh, liquid, is excellent. This is one of my favorite uh, cleaning liquids. When I have a problem, something on the sensor doesn't go away, so I'll be using this liquid, and it's my favorite liquid. Uh, the reason, the advantage of this liquid is... Uh, uh, it removes a static charge buildup completely. So your sensor after uh, cleaning uh, is demagnetized or uh, has excellent dust repellent properties, whereas alcohol in the opposite way attracts more dust to the sensor. So uh, I'll be um, using uh, water-based more than alcohol-based cleaning on my camera. Also, on, uh, over the number of years, I use less number of swabs each time because it's a strong uh, stain removal. Therefore, uh, and also it repels dust, so you need less cleaning. Therefore, you save a lot. Sometimes it's a matter of thousands of dollars over the years. So making the right liquid cleaning choices are more important than the swap sometimes. So therefore, that's why Visible Dust has three different uh, liquid cleaning solutions. So let's get it started. And... Uh, as you can see, the advantage of triangle of V-swab is they go under the frame and they clean the edges pretty well, whereas the uh, uh, the square swab uh, uh, cannot do this and is limited by just the frame size. So in this case, so we add uh, two drops of liquid and allow about 10-15 seconds. One of the uh, uh, problems that sometimes a uh, novice uh, user encounters is then they go right away uh, and the swab is oversaturated. So basically it restricts the sensor. So if that happens, uh, wait up to 60 seconds after you place the liquid so uh, uh, the swab, the fabric comes to calibration. Before swabbing, make sure all the procedures, all the precautionary procedures, the battery is fully charged, your camera is not communicating with any smart devices uh, in case of accidental shutter closures such as a smartphone or tablets uh, turn everything off so basically uh, once you, the calibration has taken place you go on the sensor try to go under these frames gently roll over from one edge to another and when you come to opposite edge squeeze it to the edge so and then take the swab in horizontal fashion out. If you need to go for the second time, take the swab out and rotate it 180 degree and reinsert it back. Always swab in the same direction and just uh, basically if there was any streak, uh, use the less saturated swab or allow after replacing two drops of liquid like a uh, longer time, but never use dry swab. On the sensor. Once the swabbing is done, use a quasar and inspect the sensor. Uh, once your sensor is clean, good luck. You're done swabbing. Thank you.